turn and smile. and I'm a black nerd. Recently I hung out with Supriki06. He sang a bunch of TGIF theme songs a cappella, and then we recreated a bunch of the TGIF theme song openings. I'll put a little thing here, so go to Supriki's channel, check out the video, it's pretty awesome. But then this got me thinking, there were so many awesome TGIF shows, but what were the best TGIF shows? So I present to you my personal top 10 TGIF shows. Number 10! Appropriately, just the 10 of us. It was a spin-off show from Growing Pains, and it started the coach from Growing Pains, he moved to another state with his family and had to teach at an all-boys school. However, most of his kids were girls. The teenage daughters had to go to the all-boys school and that caused wacky shenanigans. Eventually the show got canceled. And do you know what they replaced just the 10 of us with? A show called Going Places about a bunch of sitcom writers. That's right, they replaced a spin-off from the popular Growing Pains that featured four hot teenage daughters with a comedy show about comedy writers. Hollywood is a genius. Number nine, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I'm gonna be honest, I actually watched Sabrina because I had that Clarissa thing still going on for Melissa Joan Hart. Even though oddly enough, when I started watching Sabrina, I kinda got a crush on the aunts. Number eight. Number eight is a tie between Sister Sister and Clueless. If you know me, you know I had a huge crush on Tia and Tamara Mori. Why am I saying had? I still have a huge crush. I don't give they're married and got babies. I still have a crush on them. Plus you got Jack A up in that stuff. Oh my God, I watch Sister Sister every week. Sister. Caught up in a two-way twister. And I really love the show Clueless. It was based, of course, on the movie Clueless, and I thought it was a really good adaptation. Plus, any TV show that lets me watch Stacey Dash every single week is plus in my book. So if I love both Sister Sister and Clueless so much, why are they not higher on the list? It's because both shows actually weren't on TGIF very long. Sister Sister moved to the WB, and Clueless moved to UPN. Number seven, step by step, day by day. Step by Step was like the Brady Bunch for the 90s. Or was the Brady Bunch the step by step of the 60s? Think about it. Actually, that makes no sense whatsoever. Number six, Hanging with Mr. Cooper. I love this show. Mark Curry, Holly Robinson Pete, Don Lewis for the first season. Any show that starts off with, Yo, what up? Where my theme music has got to be one of the greatest shows of all time. Hang on, Mr. Cooper went through a lot of changes. They got rid of Don Lewis. They brought in this lady and her daughter, played by Raven Simone. Neil Carter ended up being on the show. The theme song, I feel like, changed a number of times. It was all like, Cooper, I'm a soul man. You got to give it up for a brother. Cooper, Cooper, get down. And I had no problem with a lot of the changes, but to me that first season I thought was just quintessential perfect. There wasn't a lot of kids running around, so you almost felt like you were a child watching an adult show. Which leads me to my number five show. Number five, Perfect Strangers. Of course not, don't be ridiculous. Larry and Balky, and Balky was just hilarious. Being all foreign, not understanding America, which of course led to some, say it with me now, wacky shenanigans. Perfect Strangers was a show that anyone could watch, but it only starred adults, so you kind of had this feeling like, oh, I'm a kid watching an adult show. This is how adults live. Adults live together in apartments and have foreign cousins and date girls that live in the same apartment. That always happens. Perfect Strangers was just like the perfect buddy comedy. It was kind of in the vein of like a male Laverne and Shirley. Or was Laverne and Shirley a female Perfect Strangers? Okay, okay, sorry. I'm not gonna do that anymore. Hey, 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 dance of joy. <laughs> Number four, Boy Meets World love for Cory and Topanga. It's like, that was such a strong bond that made you feel strong about romance until you realize that's television writing and ain't real. There is no Topanga in real life. Sure, they had some missing daughters and other missing characters. What? happened to Minkus. But you had to love Corey and Eric and Sean and that black chick that Sean was dating for a while. What was her name? Angela or something? Kind of weird. They had a black girl on that show and she had the regular name. I feel like she should have been named Topanga. <laughs> What's up my name? Topanga. <laughs> Number three, Full House. You got it, dude. Cut it out, quit it. Yes, Full House is stupid. We knew it was a dumb show. We knew that it was cheesy, ridiculous, everyone hugged at the end, yet we watched it all the time because the characters were so cool. Danny was a neat freak, Jesse was all into himself, Joey was the creepy guy that liked kitty things. Ooh. Maybe this means I get to host America's Funniest People. Fast as fast can be, you'll never catch me. You had DJ Stephanie and of course Michelle Tanner. But let's not forget about Becky. I mean, Lori Laughlin, come on. Boom, 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 bam! But I ain't gonna lie, I kinda had 
had a crush on Kimmy Gibbler. I don't know what it was, but I, I love me some Kimmy Gibbler. I love you, Kimmy Gibbler. <laughs> Number two, Dinosaurs. I love that show so much. I own the entire series. It is a great show. The environment, and drug abuse, racism, homosexuality, war, all that was put in some kind of method into this show, which made it a lot more creative and smart than people thought it was because all they saw was a show about dinosaurs. And then of course there was the baby. I'm the baby, gotta love me. Not the mama, not the mama, again. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed Sherman Hemsley as BP Richfield, the boss at the We Say So Corporation. I mean, he was just so badass. Declare, get in here now. <laughs> Seriously, if you've not watched Dinosaurs recently, go back and watch it again. It is actually a very smart show. Although it has one of the saddest endings on television I've ever seen. Those poor dinosaurs, they all died. And the number one TJF show, do you really have to ask? I think we all know what it is. Family Matters! Family Matters was great. I watched it every week. I loved it before Urkel. I loved it when they got Urkel. I loved it when Urkel just took over the show. I love Laura. I love Eddie. I love Harriet. I love Carl. I love Mother Winslow, Rachel, 3J, Richie. Judy, wherever she went. I love Myra. I love Waldo. I love Miss Steuben, the teacher. What up, Steuben? Doo? But Urkel was the best. Growing up as a black nerd, that was my inspiration. That was the man. That was the guy I could look up to. Did I do that? Look what you did. The man then contained himself into Stefan Arkell. Who wouldn't want to do that? Hello there, sweet thing. He had all those inventions. He made a robot. He turned a transformation chamber where he could turn into Stefan or Bruce Lee. He could transport himself to Paris. And he brings hope for any nerd in love because he pursued Laura year after year after year and she turned him down and then eventually she was like, I right, you wore me down. I'm going to give you some. I'm wearing you down, baby. I'm wearing you down. If you want to do the Steve Urkel dance, all you have to do is hitch up your pants, bend your knees and stick out your pelvis. I'm telling you, baby, it's a better than Elvis. Everybody, do the Urkel dance. Now I want to hear from you. What were your favorite shows on TGIF? Leave a comment or a video response. Do it. <coughs> do it. <laughs> Urkel over here. I love you like a play cousin. I'm only 5,000. Chain chop. Yeah. Uh oh, I think I broke your camera. Steve, go home. But I'm just. Go home, Steve. I, I just. Go home, go home, go home. I don't have to take this. I'm going home. Wacky Chanel.